Deacon George for those Catholic men. I got a confession to make. My wife thinks I'm crazy. Not necessarily in a bad way, and I'm not saying she's not right. I was a Boy Scout when I was young, and so I always have way too much stuff because I believe in being prepared. But being prepared isn't just a rule of the Boy Scouts. I'd like to tell you a story about one of my favorite characters from American history, General Ulysses S. Grant. General Grant was in a battle called Belmont, a small battle really early in the war down in southern Missouri, right along the Mississippi River. And he went out personally on his horse to reconnoiter to find out where the Confederates were, and he actually found they were much closer than he thought. And he was in a very dangerous position, possibly being killed or captured. He came to the edge of a steep bank on the Mississippi River, and the barge that had brought him there was down many feet below him. And the bank was really just incredibly steep. Without missing a beat, as his men thought that he would be killed, he sat his horse down. Now think about this. Like a dog with a man on his back, he actually sat the horse down and had the horse slide on its rear end down the bank, its front feet holding him back, and simply stepped onto the barge. The fact is, Ulysses S. Grant was a great horseman, and he had prepared himself as a horseman to do whatever it would take to bring him and his horse safely through any situation. Everyone was amazed at what he had done. He and the horse thought nothing of it. Why? Because he was prepared. Being prepared isn't just a Boy Scout thing, and it isn't something that only generals or other people need. But the fact is, Christ asked all of us to be prepared to watch for him in the night, to be prepared at all times, to be ready to light our lamps and go out into the darkness and welcome the bridegroom. So be prepared. Be prepared here and now. And be prepared for eternity.